Jada, and welcome back to Cove TV. I'm Taylor Conrad. And I'm Emily Lyon. Dude, homecoming was great last week. Yeah, homecoming was a blast. The coronation, the dodgeball tournament, and the football game on Friday, everything just made the whole week better. That brings us to our first segment, a clause from last week's activities. Okay, what is your feelings about ER Day? I actually really liked ER Day because for one, it challenges you to think about what to be and like it gives you more of an open idea. How do you think the new ER Day compares to what is now? I think Tacky Tours Day is not a very good idea because it only gives you pretty much like one idea of like dressing up and that's being Hawaiian. I didn't really like it plus um, the shirts were really expensive and for your day you can do something like that's at home but like and you don't have to go out and spend any money on anything. In the future would you want it to come back? Yes. I would like your day to come back because I think it was a really good idea. Like I said, it proves people's um, ability to be creative and I feel like a lot more people would par participate in it. Plus, I think that there was a lot of people who did not dress up for Tacky Tours Day. What would be a good alternative for ER Day if we didn't get it back? I'm not really sure. I think that maybe like we could do something like Choice Day or something where you could like choose what you wanted to be. I think, I just think that it should be anything. Well, I could tell that we're not the only ones that want ER Day back. You can say that again, but before we leave, we have one more segment for you. And what's that? Tori has interviewed both Mr. Asmus and a senior student about the high school news scheduling. So what inspired this new schedule change? Well, the schedule change occurred because we wanted to provide as many learning opportunities for students as possible. The block schedule uh, kind of hindered students to really focus on their passions or take some classes that they might want to take. Um, it also limited uh, the opportunities students had in the manufacturing enterprise class uh, and in other internship classes, including Cub TV, where it really had to fit within their schedule perfectly in order to make it work. By being able to offer uh, additional classes that open the door for students to be able to, um, like I said, kind of create their own individual pathways as opposed, as opposed to us telling them, nope, you have to take four classes, four terms, you know, throughout the school year. Um, and for some students, a, a blocked class just isn't beneficial for them. And not all of our classes now are skinny, but there are a, an increased number that are. Um, and if we're able to help a population of kids with that change, then I think it's beneficial. Um, with the same token, there's another group of students that the block worked perfect for, so we wanted to keep that as an option for them as well. And um, it's been a big change, but you know, from what I can tell, 
things have been positive and uh, students are, um, for the most part, I think, okay with the change and understanding that really in the grand scheme of things, it really didn't shake things you know, too much for their world. Um, they're still able to take classes that they enjoy um, and even open the door to some more opportunities, which again was our, our ultimate goal. Will you guys be adding in any more classes with this new scheduling? Uh, I, I don't think so. I think our teachers are maxed out with the, with the classes that they're currently teaching. Um, they work hard and there's a lot on their plate and uh, I think all the students sh should be thankful that they have a, a staff that's as committed to the, as they are um, to providing these opportunities for students because they had a big change as well. Um, they went from, from having 86 minutes of, of preparation each day to 43 minutes of prep and, and that's a big change for them. Um, but you know they did it for the students and they were open to that. Um, the goal is going to improve and impact um, our, our educational system within the school. They were, they were all for that. So, um, to answer your question, more classes coming. I, I, I don't foresee that happening. Maybe some changes in some classes, um, some some different classes that maybe teachers want to take on as opposed to what they currently have. Uh, we'd always be open to that. Do you think this will cause any problem for seniors? Uh, I, I don't think it should. I think you know a lot of them. Um, if anything, it could be beneficial to them. It could open the door to some more school-to-work related experiences, follow some passions they might have, um, do some internships maybe. Uh, we do have that offered as a course. A lot of students are taking advantage of that through the SCALE program. Um, but this does open the door for them to, to take more classes, if you will, um, that are kind of within their own personal interest area. So as long as they're meeting their requirements and, and making sure they take care of government, financial lit, and getting all the other um, courses that they need to graduate, I, I hope it can create the opportunity for them to take electives that are more in kind of their wheelhouse and more within their, their future planning than before. So do you think we'll be keeping it for future? The a period in block hybrid schedule? Yeah, I foresee that happening. Um, I think a lot of people are worried that we're going to go to all periods and that, that there's no way that I can sit here and say that we went away from all the block because it benefits some students to have periods. Um, there's still a group of students that, and a high population of students, that the block is still beneficial for. So for us just to say, period only, students matter, block students, we don't care about, that's just not fair. So we're, it is our intention to kind of keep the hybrid schedule. Um, there are a few things we've got to tweak here or there with it, with it being the first year, but um, I, I don't foresee any huge changes. Um, you know, that are going to have any type of negative impact. Again, our goal was to provide students with more learning opportunities, and uh, I think so far we've accomplished that. Is there anything else you would like to add in this subject? If there are any students that do have concerns um, with their schedule, whether it be now or second term or second semester, um, or even next year in planning, just that they come and talk to us, it, you know, it, it doesn't really solve any problems to um, talk to other people about it or stir the pot with different things on social media. Um, I'd encourage them to, to come to, to Mr. Smith, uh, Mr. Baker, or myself because we're the ones that can fix the problem. And if we don't know about it, uh, it makes it hard to, to make any changes or, or help any students that are having concerns. So I guess my number one thing would be if you're having issues or concerns, come to us. Our door is always open.